Hi everyone, it's Monday. It's April the 8th, 2019. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day in the Lord. I have two devotionals for you today, but first, as always, I like to say the Our Father, so please join me. And I would need to turn off my phone. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Father, for this day. I love you so very, very much. I want to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. This is called Our Stubborn Wills. And our wills are stubborn. All right. The reading is from Acts 319, and it says, Repent, therefore, and be converted. Becoming a Christian is a once-for-all event in which we repent of our sins and cast ourselves on Christ alone for our salvation. When we are converted, God takes us out of the darkness and into his marvelous light, which you can read in 1 Peter 2.9. But being a Christian is a daily ongoing experience. It is a lifelong process of daily repentance and faith, of turning from sin and seeking to live for Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit, which is what I've been saying all along. That is where our wills come in. Although we have been converted and God has come to live in us, our old nature is still alive and kicking. Our stubborn wills still demand to put self first instead of Christ. It isn't easy to bring our stubborn wills into submission to Christ, but when we do, it is as if a misplaced vertebrae, vertebrae has snapped back into place. Yeah, it's a spiritual chiropractic adjustment. Instead of the stress and tension of life out of harmony with God, we discover the serenity of his presence. When all your spiritual vertebrae are in line, you are walking with God. Absolutely. Who will control your will today, you or Christ? And a little bit of hope is each morning we must choose to die to self again. We hand the reins over to Christ and give him complete control. Remember I did a few videos on com com fully submitted, you know, to be completely submitted to the Holy Spirit. Some days it's easy and some days it's not, but it is always the best. Okay, and this one is called Home at Last, and it's from Revelation 21.5, and it says, Behold, I make all things new. Heaven is a place so beautiful that when the Apostle John caught a glimpse of it, the only thing to which he could liken it was a young woman on earth the crowning day of her life, her wedding day. He said that the holy city was like, quote, a bride beautifully dressed for her husband, unquote, in Revelation 21, 2. Artists have tried to paint pictures of heaven, but even the most impressive image falls far short of the reality. Under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, John could only hint at the splendor we shall see someday. It shone with the glory of God and its brilliance was like that of a very 
precious jewel like jasper, clear as crystal. Revelation 21.11 Yet, the Bible's emphasis is not on heaven's beauty, but on heaven's joy. The Bible teaches that heaven will be a home that is happy because there will be nothing in it to hinder happiness. Quote, and there shall be by no means enter it anything that defiles, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it. Revelation 21, 27 and Revelation 22, 3. You could read about that. And some hope for today is what currently hinders your happiness. What stands in the way of peace and contentment in your life? You can be certain that whatever stands in your way will not be present in heaven. And we have so much to look forward to going to heaven. Um, it's the opposite of the earth. Here, we try to do things, we have opposition. We, we, we think that we're going to, um, you know, we, we just about feel like we've, we're in the right place and something critical happens to foil it. It's, this is, it's up and down, over and under, good and evil, uh, sickness and health. Uh, but in heaven, it's all going to be everything good. Okay, so we have so much to look forward to and um, our blessed hope. We have to look forward to he's the one that died for our sins so that we could have entrance into this beautiful new place and live in peace okay and with without any uh, corruption new bodies not corruptible we're going to get uh, they will not be hurting or sick or anything there's no disease it's it's you in your youth at your best Okay, and you'll remain that way. Why would anybody want to refuse that free gift? But you must accept Jesus in order to obtain that. Um, I'm going to put the salvation video right behind this. Um, in order to see heaven, you need to go through Jesus to get to the Father. All right, you need to accept Jesus as the Son of God. You need to accept his blood atonement as the... Uh, forgiveness uh, to wash you clean of the and the forgiveness of your sins my sins and the sins of the world because we're all sinners and we all fall short of the glory of God and you need to believe that he died on the cross for you and the sins and you need to believe that he uh, was resurrected on the third day okay that is the gospel okay you believe all of that and repent and you will be saved and you will see heaven people I promise you that but you need to follow along on this video and the only thing I ask you to do is to come with a sincere heart you don't have to clean your up yourself up first you don't have to clean up your act you come just the way you are there isn't a sin that you could have committed in the world that the Lord will be shocked over okay he's seen everything so um, you come as you are and throw all your burdens at the foot of the cross and um, and Jesus will take you from there, all right? I want to remind you always that I love you and Jesus loves you. Never forget how much Jesus loves you. Never forget it. Look how much he's done. Look at what he suffered to reverse what Satan did in the garden, to get his children, to bring his children home to where they belong. Okay, please follow along and give your life to Jesus. The world is getting darker, people. It's only going to get darker and worse from here. It's not going to get better. All right, God bless you and follow along.